welcome to my channel. Today, making the most of being with my mum for Christmas, we are going to do the mum tag. So without further ado, let's get started. What was I like as a child? A nightmare. A nightmare. Okay, would you like to elaborate on that? Or just a nightmare? <laughs> as a child, you were Miss Bossy. Okay. Uh -huh. You always wanted to be the centre of attention. As a baby, you were a very happy little girl uh -huh. who smiled and cooed a lot. Okay. Everywhere I went, you were with me. <laughs> and it worked well until your brother came along. <laughs> and then you sort of had a little bit of a personality change. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the only child now. Yeah. But on the whole, you are very, very happy and um, very smart little uh -huh. girl. What do you think of me making YouTube videos? I think you're slightly insane. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Something that I would be doing. Oh, uh, it doesn't surprise me, Louisa. Okay. You've got sort of a bubbly character. Mm -hmm. You're fully open. You're fully transparent. So why not invite people into something funny I did when I was younger? Oh dear lord. Well it'd be funny for you but it wasn't funny for me. It's got to be the, the I can't walk moment. You were about two, uh -huh. two and a half and your brother was a few months old Anthony. Uh -huh. And one morning I got up and you were in your cot crying and I picked you up and put you on the bed got your brother up, who was only a few months old, uh -huh. and you decided you couldn't walk. We went to the hospital, all the nurses came, and they were getting a specialist from the sick kids, yeah. um, a hip specialist, paediatric for mm -hmm. children, mm -hmm. and I remember this doctor arriving, and I said to this doctor, she was making it up, and they looked at me as if I was the most awful parent ever. Me, and they said, up. she is a child. She hasn't got the mental capacity to make this up. And I said, yes, she has. She's very smart. Put you in that night. They had you in a bed beside me. They had your leg hoist up. And they took blood tests and all these tests. And I began to think what an awful mother I was for doubting you. In the morning, <laughs> the doctor came in. I remember, he was a very handsome doctor. Yeah. And he had a shirt and tie on and jeans. Because uh -huh. it was a Sunday, kind of a uh -huh. back uh -huh. day. Uh -huh. And he walked in, he went, morning! And he went right up to the hook mm -hmm. where your leg was hanging and dropped it and you jumped up and he went, get her out of here. Because <gasps> I was making it up. There was nothing wrong with you. Oh my God, that's so funny. So that's a funny story. Although it in wasn't, hindsight, it was uh -huh. funny. What is a weird habit of mine? I know I have many, but just choose one. <laughs> I've got so many. I would have to say your floss. You can't go anywhere without your floss. No, I can't. So I, I have think food in my teeth and I can't stand it. Floss is one of them. Mm -hmm. um, constantly after I eat, I have to floss straight away. No matter where I am. Mm -hmm. I'll just be sitting in a restaurant, floss my teeth. You must <laughs> floss. Um, another one would be the fridge. You mm. like to put um, utensils in the fridge. Yeah. Like cutlery. That's weird. <laughs> That is so like weird. A if, if I'm giving a man a yogurt and she doesn't finish it, I won't just put the half finished yogurt oh, covered in the fridge. I'll just put the yogurt and a spoon in the fridge. Spoon. Why did I do that? That's weird. So weird. I think I could make a separate video of Louisa and her weird habits. I'll just put that in a separate video. They're Louisa not, and her weird, weird habits. Habit. If you had to rename me, what would you name me as? Jessica. Jessica. Why? Because I like it. It's like Jessica. Jessica. If you had another daughter, you would have called her Jessica. No, Megan. Oh, Megan? Yeah, because I thought Jo was going to be a girl and I had her name picked out. Megan. Megan. Aww. Why would you call me Jessica? Because it's like Jessie. Like you and Jessie. When we all go out to eat, what do I order? Well, if you like Chinese food. I love Chinese. It's my favourite food in the world. So, if you are going to go to a restaurant, you would choose Chinese. Mm -hmm. um, I love it. And with Chinese, you would have all the different different flavours. You would just have one dish, you'd want lots of them. Mm -hmm. So you would have the lemon chicken, you would mm -hmm. have the sweet sour chicken, you would have beef and black bean, you would have, like you would have yeah. the curry, you would have. What is the one thing that you wish I would do? Look after yourself more. Go get your hair done, go and get a massage, have time for you, mm -hmm. and go and give yourself a 
bi monthly shopping mm -hmm. spree. What do I do that annoys you? Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> what are the things, the many things I do that annoy you? <laughs> In the kitchen, you're so messy. Yeah. Oh. I'm messy. What messy. is something that I obsess over? Your daughter in her food. <laughs> Amaya's eating. Amaya's eating. And when she's not eating eat. enough, she's like, and she's a fine. She needs fine. She's actually like, she's well built. Like, but she's like, oh my goodness. At all. Oh. So you obsess about it. I do. I'm Amaya. like so worried that she's not going to eat. Yeah. Where would you like to see me in 10 years? I'd like to see you settle I'll down. 40. Oh my god. I'll in 40. the countryside with your wonderful husband and your two beautiful girls, but having your own independence and having your own business. So that you're, you're working from home, you're independent, oh. you can take vacations off, you're self-sufficient yeah. as well as a family unit, mm -hmm. but you've got your own little independence. Yeah. It's something you enjoy doing around your children. When were you most proud of me? I would say when you were in primary seven, mm -hmm. standing up in McMary, reading out Robert Burns. Oh, the time of the poem. Yeah, that was... And I memorised like a 10 or 20 page poem. I memorised all. Face just dropped. It doesn't leave it. Thinking, A, I don't know how you're pronouncing those words the way you pronounce them, and you memorised it all. And I, I was really just it. flabbergasted. I know. So I think that was one of the very first moments when you were yeah, 11. I didn't even know what you were doing. Neither did I. I didn't even know what I was saying. It's <laughs> just like. And we just, everyone in the audience. <laughs> and I think we got a letter from the education department. I did. The education department. Yeah. That this one was, was so mesmerizing. Ooh, by. That was crazy. I can't believe I did that. What is the worst thing I've ever done? Climbed out the window. You were grounded for something, and I can't remember oh, what for. Oh, yeah, and I climbed And that says, Get to your room. Uh -huh. And then we had the police car come. Yes. And you were about 13. Uh -huh. And the police car went, um, you, or you, Louisa's mum was yeah, she's in her room, watching your room. Door wide open, you went on a bike, cycled up with no lights on, and the police just caught you. <laughs> Put the bike in the back of it. I know, I couldn't believe it. The one time that like, I climbed out my window and escaped, the police had to like. <laughs> and I've got oh Louisa's in her bedroom. I know, and I, yeah, I climbed out my window, got on my wee bike, the cycling down the road to go meet my friends, and because I didn't have any lights on my bike, the police just followed me home. That was so bad. And then before that, it had to be the steel in the lip gloss. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, I remember that. I, okay, so. In fact, was it very dumb you? Yeah, we went to like a big superstore and then um, I really, really wanted this lip gloss. So, but my mum said, no, you're not getting it. So I stole it, I put it in my pocket, and then I forgot about it. And then we went to McDonald's straight after, and we're sitting having McDonald's. I think I forgot that I stole it. So I just got it in my pocket and started putting the lipstick on all happy. And then mum looked at me and you were like, what are you doing? Like, I told you you couldn't get it. And I think you made me go give it back. I dragged you back to the W, walked yes. in that store and got the manager. And I had to go and hand and it back. And you had to confess the manager for what you done. Oh. But I tell you, you've never told since. No, I haven't. <laughs> what is your favorite moment of us together? Was it in this hotel? Yes, in all the uh -huh. it was and it was eight. lovely. It was such a nice place, and we met yeah. friends, and we had lunch mm -hmm. in the hotel, mm -hmm. um, and it was just a really I nice time. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was that was a very much a bonding time. Mm -hmm. It was so nice. That was just nice. Just playing it because yeah. I when I was twenty, I spent Ready. one year abroad Ready. at university. Before, like my mum came with me, it was the first time I've been abroad on my own. So she came with me for the first three or four days, and it was, yeah, it was really nice. How was I in school? I think academically and socially, you you, you did good, but you put mm. a lot on yourself. You too, too much, much pressure. pressure on yourself, mm. and that's very hard for parents to watch. Yeah. Now, what would you change if you could raise me again? I would have more time with you. I would okay. enjoy the years. <laughs> And less on the work and mm -hmm. spend, spend more time. Describe my perfect guy. Someone that's not so not so materialistic. Someone that you can have a laugh with. Uh huh. That you can be yourself with. Mm -hmm. That he's got a sense of humour. Okay. Um, 
and that he is family orientated. So do I know you pretty well? Yes, you know him <laughs> very, very, very well. <laughs> that's the end of the video. We were hijacked halfway through by a Mario, but that's fine. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you again in the next one. Bye!